Hi, today I would like to show you how to do volume rendering on an Osteo 0TE bone sequence. First of all, you select your series and then you open the 3D viewer. So when it's loaded, you can choose your volume rendering basic protocols. The first thing when you get in here is you want to get rid of the air in the background. You can do that by going to segmentation, threshold, and adjust the maximum threshold bar. So you can see that the air is being removed. You can be a little bit um, aggressive on it, even though it removes some of the bone, it's okay, we can fill that back in later. So do apply threshold. So now you see some of your bones is threshold out. So you'll want to fill that back in using the segmentation, advanced processing tool, and the close holes tool underneath it. So once you press close hold, it will close all the holes and you get all your bones back. The next thing is you want to get rid of some of the skin. So for a shoulder, usually I use five pixel and say erode. And now you're ready to use the middle mouse to do window leveling in the 3D volume rendering viewport. So you just use your middle mouse to adjust the window leveling so that you get to a nice volume rendering view that you want. So at this point, I will also change the color using the advanced VR settings. So usually for ZTE sequence, you get a nice peak here. You try to adjust your color a little bit. So that usually I just adjust the first three color and that's usually give me a pretty realistic view of the bone. There's also a new feature called volume illumination that gives you a more realistic view for volume rendering. So if I switch to that feature, you see that it just feels a little bit more realistic because of the depth of the volume rendering. So now you can choose to just look at it like this, or if you want, you can get rid of a lot of the floating muscles in the front. You can do that easily by using the scalpel tool. Once you click on the scalpel tool, you will highlight everything that you don't want. Say we can do something like this. And then say cut outside. So now we got a pretty clean view. You can do a little bit more if you want, um, but that's really up to you. So cut inside this tab. So some people want to measure the glenoid bone, for example. Then what you want to do is you want to cut out the humerus bone by using the auto select tool. So you can choose pick from VR and it's on the remove mode already. So you just need to click on the bone and voila, this is done. So you can see the glenoid surface very clearly and make measurements using the distance tool here. That's it. Thank you very much.